white man's grave. And when they got in also, they could not stay without the women. So governors, soldiers, traders kept on abusing the ladies here in the dungeons. Whenever the governor wanted, because of his position, the story says, up on the balcony he stood and then ordered. The women were brought up from the dungeons all around to this courtyard. From there he just looked through and then made his choice. This woman chosen could have been in the dungeons for a whole month. Never cleaned her teeth, never took her bath or bath, gone through menses sometimes, and still the governor wanted. So the soldiers had the responsibility of making sure this woman was washed. How did they do it? They fetched water from the town called the cistern. They washed the woman at the center of the courtyard. Women from the dungeons looked on. After the humiliation, she was dressed up, given something to eat, at least to be strong. Then up on these stairs, we call it private access to the governor's bedroom. The chosen woman was taken to the governor. You can see the private access. So up on these stairs, <coughs> up on these stairs, through a door on top we call a trap door, the woman was taken to the governor. After the governor had used her, she was brought back to the dungeons. Instances they would tell me that before she even got back, she could have been used by some other guys also. Some very few became mistresses and they stayed longer. And those that became pregnant were subsequently freed or liberated. We need to understand they came not only from today's what is known to be Ghana alone, but also from today's Togo, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, even Nigeria to this place. So when the woman was finally freed, she could not go back to where she came from. Secondly, the Europeans never wanted their babies to go anyhow. So some houses were built here in town where those found pregnant were kept. When they delivered, the kids were brought back to this place and they were educated. But then sadly, these ones were educated to be used as a bridge between the Africans and the Europeans. And also they gave out names to their kids. And that was the genesis of the European names along the coast. So here now in Elmina, we are still having people calling themselves Da Costa, Da Silva, Divier, Vanes, Room Smith. Hutchison, Peterson, Youngson, Folsom, Jefferson, Johnson, and all the Simpsons you can think about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.